everyone and welcome to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to be making cupcakes and uh, we're going to be making uh, vanilla with uh, vanilla cupcakes. But just to give the extra uh, flavor to the cupcakes, I'm going to be adding some cranberries and some choco chips. You can omit the cranberries and choco chips if you want to keep it as a plain vanilla cupcake. But I just thought to make it more interesting. So let's just dive straight into the recipe. Let me first take you through the ingredients, which are very, very few. Let's go and see what the ingredients are. Now we're are. going to need about one third cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to measure that. Then we require about one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. That's those are our dry ingredients. In our wet ingredients, we have one third cup of milk. We're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla essence. This is about one third cup of butter, which is at room temperature. Some cranberries, about a tablespoon of cranberries, and about a tablespoon of choco chip. And this is my cupcake uh, liners, which I've just put into my cupcake uh, tray. So let's get started. We are also going to be needing one egg and one third cup of powdered sugar. Friends, let's start making this delicious cranberry cupcakes, cranberry and chocolate. So now in a bowl, I'm going to first add the powdered sugar. Next, I'm going to be adding the butter. And now we're just going to mix the butter and the sugar really well. So we're going to cream uh, this mixture really well. So take about a minute or so and just you know with a spatula beat it up well like this so it becomes nice and smooth we want the sugar and the butter to really mix in very very well once that is done we're going to add the egg and again with your spatula just mix the egg in well And now I'm going to move on uh, using an electric whisk. If you don't have an electric whisk, you can also use a hand whisk. Just whisk everything together till it becomes nice and creamy. This is very important because we want that lovely light texture. Now I'm going to add the vanilla essence. You can also add vanilla extract. Again, mix the mixture together really nicely. About for about two minutes, whisk everything really well. We want this lovely, light, creamy kind of a consistency. Now we're going to add the milk. And again, whisk everything well. So we're done with all the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to add the flour. I'm just going to uh, pass it through a sieve or a sift so we're going to add the flour and now I'm also going to add the baking powder and again with my spatula we're going to mix everything really really well together this would be a good time to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes and now we're going to add the goodies which is the choco chips and the cranberries of course these are dried cranberries and again give it a nice light mixture mix so that we get an even uh, you know distribution of the cranberries and the choco chips and now all you have to do is just pour this mixture evenly into the cupcakes cupcake holders <music> I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. 
minutes and now I'm going to pop these lovely uh, you know, the batter of the cupcake into my oven and we're going to let them bake at 180 degrees Celsius for at least 20 minutes. And now we're going to bake this in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. Now each oven is different so keep an eye on your oven and you'll see about after about five minutes you'll see them puff up like this and now while these are baking I'll be sharing a few tips which you can keep in mind to get the perfect cupcakes I thought I'd just give you a few tips which you can keep in mind when you're doing this baking and or making cupcakes so I'll just give you a few tips tip number one Keep all your ingredients ready. So you either use a weighing scale or to get it in grams or you use cups or teaspoons, tablespoons. So I'll just show you what I use. So I have this set of cups, you know, if you can see, all measuring cups. You get them in all different colors, different designs. So uh, I got them from my Amazon, from Amazon, so I can link it down in my Amazon store. And uh, so keep all your ingredients ready. They should be as per the measurements given in the recipe. Always follow the recipe quickly because whenever somebody is putting up a recipe, they have tried and tested it. They know that the ingredients, uh, you know, the measurement of the ingredients is very, very important. So keep that in mind. Keep your ingredients ready with the right amount, right measurement. Then another very important point is preheating your oven. So preheating your oven is uh, you know, whatever degrees that you're going to be baking at, use the same degrees and just preheat your oven at, uh, for 10 minutes. So always, uh, you know, keep your oven ready before you put the cupcakes in uh, into the oven. So preheating means just heating the oven, keeping it ready so that, you know, your cake or your biscuits or your cupcakes or whatever you're baking, you know, comes out to the right even uh, temp uh, the right texture you're looking for. It shouldn't be raw inside. So basically, preheating is, for example, if you're cooking on your gas stove and you're making, uh, say, chapatis or or you're making, uh, you know, any kind of recipe, you always preheat your pan. Or when you're adding oil to a pan to make any dish, you preheat it. You heat it up. So in the same way, the oven also needs to be heated up for certain recipes. Certain recipes will ask you not to preheat the oven. So in that case, you don't need to. So keep that in mind that your oven should be preheated for 10 minutes at the right temperature and uh, you know always bake at the temperature given in the recipe also then let the cupcakes cool down completely to, for 15 to 20 minutes before you know you take them uh, you uh, you know take off the wrapper or you want to eat it so let it cool down completely then you get the perfect cupcake so these are a few tips uh, I would like to share with you before we take our cupcakes out of the oven and I'll show you how beautiful they look recipe for this recipe the butter has to be at room temperature you cannot use frozen butter because the texture will completely change so for that I suggest that you keep the butter out for about 30 minutes and then you know you can use it because then you can see when I added the butter to the sugar immediately it you know I could cream it up immediately if your butter is frozen then it will take some time and you will, it'll, the whole texture of the cupcake will change so keep your butter at room temperature now you can use uh, ready-made icing sugar, but what I normally do is I make my own icing sugar at home. All I do is take the measurement of the, of, you know, take regular sugar, put it into my blender or my mixer, grind it smooth, and then I just uh, sieve it through a dry sieve and that's how I get my icing powder, icing sugar. So use that. Then another in, uh, important uh, 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 tip would be that you sift your flour. If you want that lovely, even texture and a very light and fluffy cupcake, then you have to sieve the dry ingredient, which is the maida. You can also add the baking powder to the maida, mix it up well, and then sieve it or sift it and add it to the... And here, friends, are our beautifully baked cupcakes all ready. Let them cool completely before we, uh, you know, take them out of the mold and uh, out of the cupcake holder. They're so evenly baked and the aroma in my kitchen is also so amazing. I'm so tempted to just dig into them and have them. And you'll see once I, uh, you know, once they're cool enough to uh, remove the paper, you'll see how nice and soft and delicious they are.
And so guys, here are our lovely cupcakes. Really, really delicious. As you've seen, I've already eaten one and it's really soft, a melt in the mouth and it's just delicious. And the cranberries and the chocolate chips do add a lovely flavor. You can also make it without them, like I said in the introduction, but these are really, really good. So I hope you give this recipe a try and do let me know in the comment section how you like this recipe. So these are my cupcakes ready. If you want to make just 6 cupcakes, you can follow this recipe. If you want to double it and make 12, just double the quantity of all the ingredients. So I hope you like today's recipe and I hope you do give it a try. Do give this recipe a video a big thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon that you see below the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already guys. And uh, you know support my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. It's completely free. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell and click on all that way you won't miss out any of the recipes I put up on my channel. Also, I have more than 800 recipes on my channel, so go and explore my channel. I've created a playlist, so you can go and check out the playlist. It's like breakfast items, baking, uh, you know, lunch recipes, dinner recipes, starters, skip different recipes. You can go and explore my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And I'll catch you soon in my next video. This is Akhita saying bye. Take care.